位子妃我。议长夫人戴美丽女士，粉底透明国会议员议员夫人柯凯丽女士，汉透家国会议员议员夫人萨瓦里女士，内田帕布里秘书柯普雅议员，卡内伊议员，加索利议员，加尼议员，威利先生。图瓦鲁，代由议长阁下抗议，各位访谈的贵宾，潘恩纽大使，我们各位同仁，大家好。The Honorable Samuel Luteo, Speaker of the Parliament of Tuvalu, and Mrs. Teo. Distinguished members of the delegation, Your Excellency Bikeni Beopaenu, Ambassador of Tuvalu, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. 欢迎代优议长康利，以及所有贵宾访问台湾，特别是在图瓦卢开放国境后，各位随即来访，展现对两国邦谊的支持跟重视。I welcome Speaker Teo, Mrs. Teo, and the distinguished members of the delegation to Taiwan. Your visit soon after Tuvalu reopened its borders demonstrates your support and regard for our nation's diplomatic ties. 二零一七年，我和戴优议长康利也曾在总统府见面。当时，戴优议长是以国会议员的身份来访，这一次则是首度以国会议长的身份率团来访。我要表达诚挚的欢迎。Speaker Teo, Mrs. Teo, and I have met before at the presidential office in 2017. At that time, Speaker Teo was a member of parliament. Today, he is visiting for the first time as Speaker of Parliament. I extend a sincere welcome to Speaker Teo. Welcome. Okay. 来，戴尤议长跟图瓦鲁政府都用行动表达对台湾坚定的支持。在去年，我们也看到，不论是在联合国大会或者世界卫生大会等国际场域，图瓦卢都为台湾发声，支持台湾的国际参与。在这里，我代表台湾人民向图瓦卢政府跟国会表达感谢。Speaker Teo and the government of Tuvalu have long taken steps to express staunch support for Taiwan. Last year, we saw Tuvalu voicing support for Taiwan and our international participation. At such global events as the United Nations General Assembly and the World Health Assembly, on behalf of the people of Taiwan, I hereby extend my gratitude to the government and Parliament of Tuvalu. 这几年来，虽然面对疫情的挑战，台湾和图瓦卢持续在各领域深化合作，像是透过台湾奖学金计划，许多图瓦卢学生来到台湾深造。去年的授奖生也包括图瓦卢国国会的社安卓秘书长。来台攻读博士学位，增进双方的交流。Despite the challenges posed by the pandemic in the past few years, Taiwan and Tuvalu have continued to deepen cooperation in multiple domains. For example, many Tuvaluan students have come to Taiwan to study through the Taiwan Scholarship Program. Last year's scholarship recipients included Andrew Pugasimeli, clerk to Parliament, who came to Taiwan to pursue a doctoral degree. Such cooperation has increased our bilateral exchanges. 此外，呃，去年九月，图瓦卢纳塔诺总理率团来访，我们两国在洁净能源领域的合作达成了具体的共识，共同努力迈向二零五零净零排放的目标。Furthermore, last September, Prime Minister Kausea Natano led a delegation to Taiwan. Our two nations reached a firm consensus on cooperation in the field of clean energy and will work together to achieve net zero emissions goals by 2050. <coughs> During this visit, Speaker Teo will also sign a joint statement with Speaker Yo Shi Kun of the Legislative Yuan. Strengthening parliamentary cooperation and exchange. Well, 再次感谢各位贵宾来访，让台湾和图瓦卢持续增进情谊，扩大合作。新的一年，面对疫后经济复苏、气候变迁等国际挑战，台湾和图瓦卢一起努力，会一定会一起努力，促进两国的永续发展，并且为全球的进步繁荣做出更多的贡献。
I want to thank our distinguished guests once again for their visit, which continues to bolster ties and expand cooperation between Taiwan and Tuvalu. In this new year, facing such global challenges as post-pandemic economic recovery and climate change, Taiwan and Tuvalu will work together to facilitate our nation's sustainable development and make even more contributions to the advancement of global prosperity. Thank you. Excellency, President Tsai, Ying Wen, senior government officials, Tuvalu Ambassador to the Republic of China on Taiwan, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Tsai Dong Hong Gersia, Gowei Jenfu Gao Chen Guan Yuan, Pan Anyo Da Shi, Gowei Gui Bing, Taja Hao. I have the honor to make a few remarks on behalf of my delegation the Parliament, and the people of Tuvalu. I thank you, Madam President, for the warm hospitality you have extended to me and my delegation since our arrival on your shores. I thank you, Madam President, for the warm hospitality you have extended to me and my delegation since our arrival on your shores. The Parliament and people of Tuvalu commended Taiwan for its outstanding achievements in, in combating the COVID-19 pandemic, especially at the height of the pandemic in 2020. This profound commitment to addressing a global health issue and other current problems for the benefit and product, protection of the humanity should be recognized. Tuvalu Guohui and Renmin very strongly recognize the Taiwan's outstanding efforts, especially in the height of the pandemic in 2020. Taiwan Tuvalu received extensive support from Taiwan before and during the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak in the form of medical equipment and budgetary resources. This support greatly assists the government in its effort to vaccinate the eligible population and contain the spread of COVID-19 virus in the country. From the pandemic to the pandemic, Tuvalu has supported the government and resources in Taiwan's support. This has enabled the government to provide the people's needs to get the vaccine and control the spread of the virus in the country. This generous generosity demonstrates Taiwan's ability to help the world address global crisis. It demonstrates Taiwan's ability to address critical issues of the world, demonstrating Taiwan's ability and openness to help its neighbors, allies, and countries in need. Therefore, Tuvalu will continue to support and advocate Taiwan's importance as an observer in the UN, WHO, UNFCCC, and ICAO. 如此慷慨的行为，展现出台湾有能力帮助世界应应全球危机，可以解决世界的关键问题，也展现出台湾有能力，也愿意帮助邻国、盟友和有需要的国家。因此，图瓦鲁将持续支持并提倡台湾以观察员身份参与联合国、世界卫生组织、联合国气候变化纲要公约和国际民航组织等。History has shown. That Tuvalu is Taiwan's first ally in the Pacific, making it the oldest ally established in 1979. We, the people of Tuvalu, are pleased to note that this relationship 
continues to strengthen year after year. Tuvalu is Taiwan in the Indo-Pacific region's first bilateral partnership. It was established in 1979. Tuvalu citizens also welcomed the establishment of the two countries' annual partnership. The number of Taiwan-funded projects has continued to increase, including projects to improve public services such as mobile phones and internet connections in Tuvalu, human development, health, agricultural technology. And culture. Taiwan 资助的计划持续增加，这包括提升我国手机、网络等公共服务、人类发展、健康、农业科技、文化等项目。Human development is one of the most important areas for Tuvalu. In recent years, Tuvalu has typically recruited nurses from Fiji and Kiribati because there was a shortage of nurses in the country. Some Fijians and Gilbas nurses are still working in Tuvalu. To solve this problem, I thank your government for funding the online nursing program offered by the Fiji National University, so that Tuvalu nurses can earn their certificates in nursing, with more than 10 Tuvalu nurses aged graduating from the FNU. In December 2022, this will increase the number of qualified nurses serving the people of Tuvalu. 人才培育对土瓦鲁至关重要。近年来，土瓦鲁因为护士短缺，通常从斐济和吉里巴斯招聘护士。目前仍有一些斐济和吉里巴斯的护士在土瓦鲁工作。为了解决这个人才短缺的问题，我要感谢。贵国政府资助斐济国立大学提供的在线护理课程，以便让土瓦鲁护士助理能够获得护理证书。二零二二年十二月，已有十多名土瓦鲁护士助理从斐济国立大学毕业。未来将有更多合格护士为土瓦鲁人民服务。The Tuvalu Parliament will continue to promote our interparliamentary cooperation through discussion and exchange programs. If such programs could be established, Tuvalu will continue to promote international cooperation and related activities. Tuvalu will keep holding the values of democracy, justice, and respect for human rights. The same principles were embraced by Taiwan to completely realize the objectives of democracy. The rule of law, peace, and human rights. We shall continue to work in partnership. Tuvalu will continue to hold the values of democracy, justice, and human rights. These are also Taiwan's values. The United States and Taiwan must continue to work to achieve democracy, justice, and human rights. Today, Madam President, I would want to reaffirm to you that Tuvalu. Will continue to be steadfast in its support of Taiwan's bid to become an observer in international organizations. I wish you, your government, and your people success in 2023. On behalf of my delegation, thank you. Thank you. 谢谢。我今天要向蔡总统重申，土瓦鲁将持续坚定支持台湾，争取成为国际组织的观察员。我也要代表访团一行，恭祝蔡总统、贵国政府和人民新的一年万事如意。谢谢。谢谢。